Move on to the lightning round portion of the debate. Yes or no, quick answers here, or just a couple of words. Everyone will get to answer. We're going to go left to right. The first question goes to Mr. Lumage. President Trump, if he should run in 2024, would you support him? Look, I support yes the Trump no. policies. I voted for him twice. I didn't change my position, never did, because I like his policies. All of us should ask one question. Which one would of the you policies yes would you no? choose? Which one of the policies would you choose right now? The yes Trump or no, would you vote policies for or the current ones? Lightning round, yes or no? <laughs> Policy-wise, yes. Ms. Claritas. I would have to see who else was running on both sides. I always I vote for the Republican nominee. I've always supported the nominee, unlike my opponent, who did not vote for I Trump mean, yes. Yes and no. gave us Biden. Um, yeah, we'll get back. Ms. Claritas, yes or no, if he's on the ballot? It would depend on who else he's running against. I always support their public nominee. If he is our nominee, I uh, will support him. Let's move on him. to the next question, okay. Jody. I just need to respond Mr. to that. Lumage. No, no, no. It's a it, yes, lightning round, Jody. It's a yes or no. Mr. Lumage, recent News 8, the Hill Emerson College polling found that 6 in 10 voters support a maximum age limit for elected officials. Should there be an age limit? If so, what age? I believe in term limits. I would be the first one to introduce that bill if I were elected, term limits, because people, elected officials, are losing Thank you. contact with the voters. Just to clarify, you're asking about an age limit. Yeah, age, age limit, limit, Mr. Lumage. No. Mr. Lumage, age yes limit? Yes or no? No. Term no. limit. I believe in term limits. Term limit? No to the age limit? Term limits. I have signed the term limits pledge, and I, I pledge question. to only serve two of terms it's a one at word the most. Answer. Our Thank next you. question, the aging I-91 I-84 interchange in Hartford needs to be replaced and there are plans to do it. Do you support the current plan to bury the highway, Mrs. Levy? It's an interesting plan. I am not familiar with it and I'd have to see how much is involved, how much, you know, what it would cost and, and <coughs> what it would entail. No. Mrs. Claritas? No. Uh, look, instead of spending money yes, all no. over the world supporting other countries, we should invest in our country. I'm America first candidate. Now it's time for your for our closing statements. And uh, we've gone through this as to who will go first. And Jody, we're going to direct we're gonna this. We're going to start with Peter Lumage. Mr. Lumage gets to go first. Uh, thank you. Uh, when Reagan said that to look at the greatness of uh, United States, you should look into it through the eyes of refugees. And I happen to be a refugee from Albania. I've seen the greatness of this country. I'm living the American dream. But everything that America stands for is under attack. What we need right now to defeat Blumenthal, we need someone who has the character, the backbone, and the fortitude to be a true Republican, to be a conservative. For the past 10 years that I've been involved in politics, I never changed my position. There is a clear distinction in this ways. It is between Thames, Louis, and I. I'm the conservative, she's center-left. If the voters want someone who is center-left, they should go with Thames. If they want a true conservative, unwavering conservative, they should stick with me, and I hope they give me a chance on the uh, 9th of August. Mrs. Levy. Well, we have a great opportunity to win in November to defeat Dick Blumenthal, but it matters who we nominate. I'm a principled, common-sense conservative, Blumenthal is the face of Biden in Connecticut. I am running to rid Connecticut of the Blumenthal blight. It's the career politicians who have gotten us into this mess. I am an outsider, not a career politician, and I am a career American. I have lived an American dream, and that's what I want for every single American, and especially our children. Again, it matters who we nominate. And again, it seems, Peter, that maybe there are only two campaigns and three candidates, but three candidates on the stage. But to me, it seems like there are two campaigns. I don't know when that. you're going to stop carrying the water for, for uh, Ms. Clarity. So. Mrs. Clarity, it's your closing statement. Well, thank you to Channel 8 for doing this and the viewers for watching and my, and my, and my fellow candidates. Joe Biden and Dick Blumenthal have surrendered this country to the radical left that's given us record inflation, it's given us open borders where fentanyl flows through our streets, and it's given us an unsafe place to live because of defunding the police. I, we need change, and we need desperate change. I am a loudmouth Greek girl, and I am the best candidate here to beat Dick Blumenthal and take on the fight for the radical left. I have won 11 elections. I am a proven winner. I am a proven fighter for lower taxes, for re real spending, cuts, and the rule of law. I hope I can earn your trust on August 9th and have your vote, and I ask you to please join me while we make history. Thank you.
We want to thank all three candidates for joining us and remind everybody that the primary is August the 9th.